<rire> je m'appelle Sylvie Tichungu Zawadi, je viens de la République démocratique du Congo. Je veux que les femmes changent et aient une bonne santé en pratiquant du sport. Hi, my name is Christina. I come from Austria and I want women to become more self-confident when they're running. Hi, my name is Greta. I'm from 261 Fearless Club in Milano and I want to change the uh, perception of running in Italy and all Italian women will love running. Hi, I'm Mimosa. I'm from Tirana, Albania and I want to bring women in Tirana together. Hi, my name is Tasneem. I'm from India and I want to change I just forgot. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tasneem. I'm from India and I want to change women's lives through running and empower them. Je m'appelle Prudence Kajemba. Je viens de Goma, dans un pays qu'on appelle la République démocratique du Congo. This is the story of seven extraordinary women. A story about hope about change and about the power of running because women who run the world can change the world step by step this is their story this is also a story about 261 fearless a global non-profit organization founded by pioneer runner Catherine Switzer 261 Fearless supports women around the world to find strength, power and fearlessness from putting one foot in front of the other. And now, seven new fearless women start their journey to bring empowerment, joy and change to their local communities by starting their own 261 Fearless clubs. We'll follow their development, their struggles and their breakthroughs will be with them every step of the way on their challenge, sharing their joy and their tears, their successes and their frustrations. These are our 261 Fearless Game Changers. They met for the very first time in Herzogenaurach in Germany at the Adidas headquarters to begin their journey. There they were greeted by the CEO of 261 Fearless, Edith Zuschmann. I'm Edith, I'm from Austria and I'm the founder with Catherine Switzer of 261 Fearless. And what's your role within 261 Fearless? So I'm in charge of the organisation, of the global organisation, so I'm the CEO. So 261 Fearless is a global women's running network, helping women to find the joy in running and get empowered through this experience. And we have quite a few programmes helping women to achieve that. There is our education program, we have our club network, we have our friendship program, and we really try to bring women together also physically, which means we also provide 261 events. Okay, so you've brought together these international women here this weekend for the Train the Trainer. What skills are the women going to learn through this course over the weekend? We try to help them to get into this coach role. So what are their obligations? What are the advantages for yourself? Um, we try to help them to prepare to become this fearless leader of a 261 group. We connect them, we bring them together as coaches and this network will help them to bring the idea also to their local communities. We try to help women to enjoy running, to find the joy in running. So that's the main, also, this is one of the main goals we want to bring uh, to those new coaches. From your experience with women who are going to set up a 261 Fearless Club, what are the biggest challenges? Yeah, help them to find the joy. So the first step is always the hardest, but the more steps you do, the more confident you feel. Hello, welcome. Hello. Can you introduce yourself and tell us who you are and where you're from? Yes, of course. Uh, my name is Christina. I'm from Austria, from uh, originally from the southern region of Austria, close to Italy. It's nice to be here. And my name is Mimosa. I come from Tirana, Albania. Uh, Tirana is the capital city of Albania. Um, I have been a teacher for nearly 12 years and actually 
recently, recently I have started working at the uh, Parliament, Assembly, uh, Repub uh, Republic of Albania. Moi, je m'appelle Sylvie Zawadi Mwamini. Uh, J'ai 39 ans. Je travaille pour Aide Profane, Action Initiative de Développement pour la Protection de la Femme et de l'Enfant. Je suis la chargée de programme au sein d'Aide Profane et on travaille en partenariat avec uh, Free to Run and 261 Freeless. My name is Greta and uh, I'm from Milano where I was born um, 48 years ago <laughs> and uh, where I work uh, in a PR agency in fashion. Hi, my name is Tasneem. I'm from India, uh, from a city that's on the coast from Mumbai. Also, we call it Bombay. Moi, c'est Prudence Kajemba. Oh, je vis à Goma, dans la République démocratique du Congo, en, en province du Nord Kivu. J'ai déjà fini les études. Je travaille chez Aide Profane en tant que chargée d'administration et finances. Et je coach souvent les, les filles de Free to Run à Goma. Et on est en partenariat avec 261. Um, and why are you here, Christina? Why have you come this weekend? Um, first of all, to have fun, to enjoy the weekend, uh, to run with the girls. Uh, being here, okay, it has been a, a long time dream to me. Because uh, running or sports has been one of my hobbies till I was a child. And being here in the heart of Adidas house, it's like a dream. I'm not recognizing myself that I'm here, still here. Uh, nous sommes ici pour représenter Free to Run et pour une conférence de 261 au niveau de l'Allemagne. When I run, I just uh, forget all my fears, worries, troubles, and I think I run when I'm happy, I run when I'm sad. And why do you want to support the women back home? Um, because I think it's very important that um, women do something for themselves. I'm the woman myself and the women like every part of the world but especially in Albania are challenging a lot of uh, hard work uh, comparing with her husband. Milano and Italy in general is uh, the town of uh, fashion so if you wear something like this uh, at supermarkets people look at you where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that the women will be nice not the right comparing with uh, the men. Back at India it's not that we don't have everything we have everything but we don't have people to kind of motivate it and uh, build it as a package saying that women can also do this. It's, it's just a mindset that needs to be broken. And I want to be equal, like me, to the others, other women, to, to not only men, but to the society. De mon côté, si je vais soutenir les femmes dans un autre pays ou ailleurs, c'est-à-dire que je trouvais d'abord que les femmes sont abandonnées, sont sous-estimées, et que de ma place, quand je me trouve que moi je peux, je fais un pas, Je dois essayer aussi d'encourager d'autres femmes à aboutir, à faire aussi un pas et à savoir qu'ils sont capables et qu'ils peuvent prendre des décisions pour un changement de notre pays. Merci. Yeah, if you are happy, you can do everything you want uh, and uh, you don't care about uh, other people. And that's going to be difficult, isn't it? I mean, what challenges do you see that you're going to be facing taking 261 Fearless back to your community? Um, so what happens is in, in India, running is actually running. You have to like run for an hour or you have to keep running kilometers to kind of prove that you're good. And with 261, that's not the ideology that I believe. I had a lot of uh, questions and contact. Uh, what is this? What are you doing? Uh, why this? Why that? Uh, so maybe it can't be so easy. It's about games, it's about having a community, about having uh, people with you, so who you connect with. So you meet them every week and you know them personally and you kind of play games and you by and by run so much and stay fit. When they get to know about what really we are and if we are together we encourage you, then they become aware of our club. Avez-vous peur uh, d'échouer? Personnellement, oui, j'ai un peu peur parce que Euh, tout à l'heure, quand on est allé au stade, j'ai regardé, j'ai dit « Oh, je dois courir tout ça 
mais je ne suis pas très forte pour courir, donc j'ai commencé à me poser beaucoup de questions. J'avais un peu peur. In India, if you see people having fun, it's very easy to get more people into your group. So I just need to kind of get that core group, and I think I'm good to go. Well, of course, there is the possibility, but um, I think as long as there are people and as long as you are willing to to um, to uh, be empathetic with the other person and to understand uh, why another person is behaving the way she is, I think uh, you can overcome anything. So you just be fearless. Yes. <laughs> so we're talking about you guys as uh, game changers. Um, do you think it's more difficult today for a woman to be a game changer than a man? Of course. Yes, still. Mm. Yeah, it is. Because they are, it's like a routine. You get used to it and you see that, okay, this is my destiny and I'm used to it. But this is not right. I think, uh, especially, I, I always thought it, it wasn't like that when I was a student. I thought that uh, we had equality of rights uh, of, of between the genders. And then I started working and then I realized that it's not like that. Women should, should fight for the right, not in the way fighting, but being aware that they have more rights than they think they have already. Uh, we do have a lot happening in the football field for women, uh, but not so much in running. So um, I think 261 will be uh, supporting that where I can get women to run. On, on commence déjà à discriminer la fille pour lui dire toi tu ne peux pas faire ça, ça c'est pas pour les filles, ça c'est juste pour les garçons. C'est ce qui concerne les, si c'est difficile de, de changer la mentalité d'une femme. Oui, c'est difficile parce que, en partant de nos traditions, de nos coutumes, la femme en soi sait qu'elle n'est pas capable. C'est avec vraiment beaucoup d'états et des étapes pour arriver à Il faut sensibiliser, il faut former aussi. Ouais. So let's have a think about your running journey. When did you start running and, and why? Actually, I started with my mom and my grandma. Uh, so I started off uh, as a long distance runner. My coach would run with me and I would uh, participate at district and state level to run 2000 meters. Um, after that, I got so good at running that I was pulled into football. So tell me about 261 Fearless. When did you first hear about it and, and how? That was also my mom. <laughs> yes. She was at the meat runs in uh, Fila, my hometown. And she told me about this and then she said how, how difficult it was to find other, other coaches and how uh, interesting it would be uh, uh, to, to do that. Uh, so a friend of mine, Nishta, she was here for your training in Boston and she uh, introduced me to 261 and Edith and you and uh, the moment she said it, I didn't even want to hear anything apart from it's a women's support group for running and you can start in India and I'm like, yeah, I'm here. It was Christine, it was a Peace Corps volunteer. I have been with her training, she is training as a teacher uh, from the American Embassy in Tirana. And uh, I used to run by, my, by myself. When I see her and she get to know about what this club is, it, 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 this is the first time that I got to know. And then I start running with Christine and the others. And personally, what do you hope to learn and achieve with 261 Fearless? Well, with that group, I hope to meet different cultures, dif different pe personalities, uh, see what is behind them, um, what, what, uh, what their history is, what their stories is. And I think that with 261, Il y a beaucoup de barrières qu'on va briser et que la femme maintenant pourra aller de l'avant. To reach myself in soul and in mind. I always want, I'm very good as a, a, like a team player and a team leader and I think uh, 261 will help me hone those skills. You need to go and go and go on. Le grand changement d'ici une année, c'est qu'il y aura plus de filles dans les clubs qui pratiquent du sport et qui se sentiront Autonome. So over the next 12 months, if you kind of fast forward 12 months, what do you hope will be different in your community in 12 months? Firstly, I will talk with my neighbours and my colleagues or things and I will enlarge my group. Hopefully the group will be established in Vienna and we will have uh, women who come regularly. I hope to have uh, more women in my club. 
Um, so my goal at the end of 12 months uh, would be to have uh, at least uh, 20 to 25 people. Même les femmes qui travaillent dans des bureaux sont vraiment vraiment intéressées à venir aussi pratiquer du sport avec nous. Et ça c'est un grand. On espère que ça va produire un grand changement d'ici là par rapport à la femme. Who is your biggest inspiration in life? Uh, my father. My mother. To, 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 to my mother, of course. I didn't want to, but she is. <laughs> pour moi, c'est Olive Lamb. My mom. Catherine. C'était une inspiration pour moi. What are you best known for? Mm -hmm. Talking a lot. Uh, for being so honest to the others. Talking a lot. <laughs> Loyalty. Ma façon d'être. Je vis en équipe. What's your biggest weakness? Um, ew, I, I can't think of it. That's a good thing. <laughs> um, Je ne montre pas si je suis fâchée. Uh, a bit shy. Je fais confiance à tout le monde. Biggest strength? If I want to do something, I do. Confident. Je m'adapte. Positivity. <laughs> le niveau d'adaptation adap à n'importe quelle situation. Uh, perseverance. Most outstanding run? Uh, marathon, Turana. The first one in New York City. My first half marathon? Women's Day Run. Biggest challenge in your life? To run a marathon under four hours, and I did it. <laughs> Getting myself on the field after my surgery. I'm in the new job, and I want to be the best in that. In that. Morning person or a night, morning. night out in the morning? <laughs> Definitely morning. Not morning person. <laughs> uh, day person. Morning person. J'aime me réveiller tous les matins. Coffee or tea? Tea. Coffee. Coffee. Tea. Both. Love or money? Ah, l'amour. Love. Moi, je disais l'amour. Love. Love. Definitely. Love. <laughs> texting or talking? Uh, talking. Texting. Texting. J'aime plus parler. Talking. Moi, je ne fais pas de messages. Ben. Trousers or skirts? Trousers. Uh, trousers. Skirt. No, trousers mostly. Les deux. Trousers. Moi, je suis toujours habillée en pantalon. Facebook or Instagram? Well, des fois, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. Facebook. Je n'utilise pas trop Instagram. Favorite song? Uh, from Sound of Music? Oh. Uh, do a dear, a female oh, dear. You don't remember me? Yes. <laughs> Paul Simon, but I don't remember the name. Jean-Jacques Jean Goldman, c'est un mm -hmm. français, là-bas. I like Ed Sheeran at the moment. Okay. Moi, j'aime Céline Dion. Enrico Inglésis, bailamos. Favorite food? Uh, Sacher torte. Apples. Uh, pizza. Seafood. Those women are amazing. I mean, they already went so far out of the comfort zone coming here and joining this training, and um, I'm convinced they're going to do an amazing job. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. In the next episode, we'll see our heroes receive their Adidas running kit and take part in the 261 Train the Trainer course to become certified 261 Fearless coaches.